Hello, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Hannah. I live in New York City with my husband Ross and my cat Rory. And I work a full-time job in marketing for a music organization. And I'm also a musician. So I do a lot of performing and I teach music lessons. I, I do a lot of things. And this is my first true weekend vlog where I just do weekend things since probably Christmas. I have been really busy these past few months. I've been performing a lot, which has been great, but I've also had like no downtime. So I'm really excited for this weekend. We're just gonna do some fun things around the city together. My husband Ross is an audio engineer. He works in theater and sometimes he works really long hours when they have tech weeks leading up to a show. He'll be there sometimes for 12, 14 hours. And that's the case this weekend. So I am on my own for the weekend to do whatever I please. Not that I wouldn't prefer to hang out with Ross if that were possible, but um, I'm just gonna find some fun things to get into, I guess. So right now I think I am going to go walk around Brooklyn with the ultimate goal of going to Michael's and getting some yarn. I recently started crocheting and I wasn't sure if I was gonna be really into it or not. Well, it turns out I am, but I only bought a little bit of yarn because I didn't wanna just buy a bunch of yarn and then end up not even liking it. But now I'm ready to take the plunge. I wanna get a bunch of colors. I wanna go see it in person. My last yarn I ordered online and it's really not great yarn. Um, so that's fun. And yeah, let's, I don't know. I'm just gonna see where the day takes me. Oh God. This little mini quiche and my smoothie make the best late breakfast, early lunch. And this morning I finished this bandana, which is my first like full size project ever. I made a little mini one of these uh, to get started for Rory. Um, but this one was the full thing, except it seems that I've made it too big. I meant for it to be a little, head bandana very cute and when I hold it in place it does look cute but I swear it's too big when I tied it on this morning it it was like bulky and it's just too much and I'm not really sure how it happened because I did less rows than in the tutorial that I followed she did I believe it was 18 rows this is just 14 so I think my yarn is just thicker than what she was using. By the way, the tutorial itself was great. I'll link it in the description. Uh, her channel is called Viv Crochets and it was just very clear and easy to follow for someone like me who had no idea what they were doing. But now I'm a little bummed because I, I can't wear this on my head and I just don't know what to do with it. So if any of you guys crochet and know what I could turn this into, like I know I could just take some rows out and make it a smaller bandana, but I just kind of don't want to do that. I'm not invested enough in this bandana. I'm ready to move on to something else, but like, I don't know. Could it be turned into anything else? I don't know what to do with it. I just got back from Michael's and I want to do a little yarn haul. I absolutely went a little bit rogue in there, especially for somebody who has no plan really as for what I'm making with the yarn that I bought, but everything was 30% off. So I was just really excited and grabbing everything that spoke to me. But first I just want to talk about this sweet guy in there. This guy approaches me and asks me if I know where this like one brand is. I don't even remember what brand it was now, but I said no. And then a little while later, I found the brand that he asked for. So I like looked around for him and flagged him and was like, hey, it's over here. And he comes over and he's talking to me and he's like, yeah, they only have a few colors though. She said she wanted black in this. And 
by the way, do you know what summer colors are? <laughs> and I was like, oh, this sweet man is on a mission right now. So I was like, yeah, you know, you could do pinks, yellows, turquoise, like anything bright and pretty. And so he like points at some yarn and he's like, so this is a summer color? I was like, yeah. And then he points at another one, but not this one. And it was kind of like, I don't know, some pinks and purples. I kind of felt like it could have gone either way. And I was like, mm, maybe I was like, that one could go either way. But like, this one is definitely say fall. And I pointed at like a brown and orange one. <laughs> and he's like, okay, but why is it fall? <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, it's the, the palette of fall. And he's like, oh, like the leaves. And I was like, yes, like the leaves. And I just, my guy, you are making your lady so happy. Anyway, that was just a really wholesome interaction. And if that guy's lady happens to be watching this, like, you got a good one. He really wants to make you happy. <laughs> I also got this boba coffee situation. It's not bad. It's not the best thing I've ever tasted, but it's enjoyable. And I liked that this place, Dragon Moo Moo on Atlantic Avenue, they had like options for the sweetness. They had like completely sweet, a little less, half sweet, light, and none. And I went with light. This is still relatively sweet. So I don't even know what completely sweet would be, but I wouldn't want it. Okay, let's do a yarn tour. So before I get into the new yarn, I wanted to show you guys the yarn that I already have. So I've got this purple yarn, which is what I made that bandana out of. I have two more very large skeins of this. Like I would say I've used about half of this. It's a lot of yarn. Why I thought I needed to order that much purple yarn, no idea. I have these three rolls of this pretty like multicolored blue yarn and this plain brown yarn and these ones were all given to me by a neighbor from the buy nothing group okay the new stuff so this is loops and threads brand which is the michaels brand and i loved all these shades of green i think it's so pretty and it's really soft this is also loops and threads and you're probably thinking hannah why on earth did you need more purple yarn okay well it's a different shade purple is my favorite color and i just i don't know if it's coming across on camera how pretty this is it's silky soft rayon from bamboo and it's just so silky and pretty and i had to have it so i got these two this white and green also loops and threads but this was really cheap these were like three dollars each and they honestly don't feel very good but i want to try making uh, some of the little amigurumi crafts and i feel like i don't need really nice soft yarn for that because it's not something i'm going to be wearing oh this like tan one is also the cheaper loops and threads so then I got these three, which are all from Lion Brand, and it's the 24-7 cotton yarn. And the reason I got these is because this one in this color is the exact yarn that was used in that bandana tutorial uh, that I followed to make the bandana that's way too large. And okay, I now see why. This is much thinner than this is. So I wanna make another one using this yarn. I got two skeins of this Loops and Thread Textured Twist Acrylic Blend yarn. I got two because I think I wanna use this to make a scarf or maybe a vest if it's enough, but I just want it a little more so I can make something bigger with it. So I spent $43.16 on all this yarn and I saved $18.54 because of the sale. So that's pretty good. I'm so excited. I just wanna go spend my entire evening crocheting now. I need to clean a little bit and I also need to prepare dinner, but I really might just set aside most of my night to be crocheting and watching a movie or something. Oh, also the TikTok shop got me the other day and I got this baby carrier thing for Rory. It's a critter cuddler. I look at it. <laughs> she doesn't even seem to completely hate it. She doesn't love it yet, but she's, I mean, you see, she's not running away. I will add this to the cat section of my Amazon storefront if anyone wants to get one. 
Guys, I've only had this for a few days and this is the first time she's been in it for so long. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Could I get up and move with her? Yes. Am I scared it will make her run away? Yes. So I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> is she gonna run right now? <laughs> Behind me, I have a situation that is so embarrassing that I can't believe that I'm even showing you guys, honestly. I clearly need to fold some laundry. <laughs> so I'm gonna fold this laundry. And while I do it, I am going to chat with you guys a little bit about some of the comments I saw on my uh, audition vlog where I went to DC to audition for the President's Own Marine Band. If you haven't seen that one, you should go watch it because it was good. <laughs> but um, first of all, I just want to thank you guys because all of your comments were just so wonderful and supportive and kind and it's just amazing like you guys have the best community but there were some you know repetitive questions uh that a lot of people had so i just want to answer them um the most common one was how do you got in the job oh spoiler if you haven't seen the video i didn't get the job <laughs> but uh it was if i'd gotten the job would i have to move to washington dc and the answer to that question is yes. Had I gotten that job, I would have had to move to Washington, D.C. Um, which is obviously kind of a big bomb to drop on you guys. Like, you're subscribed to my channel because of New York City content, you know? Like, it would have been a big change to the channel uh, had that been the case. But yes, that was something that I was very much open to doing and willing to do uh, had I gotten that job. My husband Ross was also willing to do it had I gotten the job. You know, musicians take a lot of auditions and lose a lot of auditions. So it's not something we were overthinking, but it is something that we were definitely willing to do in the event that I won the job. I think that may come as a surprise because I do love New York City so much, but that's a really great job. It is an opportunity that Oh, oh God, Rory. <laughs> I have you guys, oh. <laughs> You're perched on a soft suitcase and now she's on it and it's causing the camera to move. So to kind of answer some more questions on top of that one that play into like why we were willing to both uproot our lives entirely is for one, it is a full-time playing job, which is not the dream of every musician, but for a lot of us, you know, that, that is a dream job and it's a really great job. It's a very respected job in the music world and it has military benefits. So another question I got a lot was if you had gotten the job, would you have been a Marine? And the answer is yes. You enlist at an E6 ranking. Um, you don't go to boot camp. The President's Own is one of two military bands that don't have to go to boot camp. All of the other ones do. Every branch has several bands. Most of them do have to go to boot camp, but this one and the Premier Coast Guard band don't. The starting salary is somewhere in the high 70,000s. It's 30 days of paid vacation. You know, the health insurance is crazy. Like it's a really good job. Also, when I gave thought to potentially moving to DC, um, one of the things that, you know, is a real pro for me is that DC is much closer to family. Ross's family lives in Northern Virginia, like 45 minutes out of DC. My family's in Southwestern Virginia. It's about a six hour drive versus 12 from here. The cost of living, though still quite high, is lower than here. You know, there were a lot of benefits. Um, to the idea of moving to DC. But don't worry, I'm not about to just like leave New York. I'm not actively trying to leave New York. It's just that I was willing to leave New York for that opportunity, as was my husband. You know, there's a ton of work in his industry in DC too, so he would have been fine. He's got connections there. But don't worry if you love New York City content. I'm not going anywhere just yet. In the course of their relationship, Aaron accused his mom countless times of not really being a mother, of being a manager first. Good morning.
morning everybody happy sunday i need to leave here in 45 minutes and here's the, the current situation i got a little behind this morning because ross was here he didn't have to be at work till noon today so we were just hanging out this morning and i also wanted to put olaplex in my hair and sit with it on there for a while before i showered and uh now here we are it is about 11 30. I am eating a cheese quesadilla and some potato chips real quick and then I'm gonna get ready because I'm going to a pottery class today with my friend. I think it's gonna be so much fun. It's at a place called Happy Market. Happy Market? I could be wrong. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. Ever so slightly future me, like half an hour later, it's called Happy Medium and it is on Market Street. <laughs> it's on the Lower East Side. It's a two hour class and that's really the extent of what i know she just texted me one day and was like do you want to go to this pottery class and i was like oh that sounds fun and i don't know anything else so we're gonna go figure out what it is together but right now i gotta eat this quesadilla and then get ready pretty fast Pottery class was so fun and we will talk about it more when I get home, but it's kind of loud right now because I am currently walking onto the Manhattan Bridge. I decided that I wanted to walk home. It's a really nice day out. It's not a super long walk and the views are beautiful. All of my yarn is still on the desk here and I don't feel like moving it. So it's just gonna continue to be here. I need to find a spot to put it permanently. I don't really have a yarn spot because before I bought all this yarn, I only had a few skeins of yarn that I just put in a random drawer with some candles. But now I need an actual dedicated yarn spot. Anyway, pottery class was super fun. It took about two hours. We went and they had all of the materials and things laid out on a table for us. And then the instructor gave just a short rundown of things that we needed to know. Some basic techniques, how to get uh, separate pieces of clay to stick together properly, uh, just things like that. Then we went back to our stations and started on our pieces. I was making a mug. My friend Zhao Ling made a vase and the instructor just kind of walked around and watched and gave tips and helped out when needed. I actually really liked how hands off it was because it allowed Zhao Ling and I to just like talk to each other while we made the pottery, but there was somebody there to help if we needed it. So after you finish, you take a picture of what you've made and put in your contact information and then they take it and put it in the kiln and they glaze and paint it for you we just chose the colors mine's gonna be light purple and then it'll be ready to go pick it up in a couple of weeks pottery has to sit in the kiln for like a really long time i made pottery in high school art class a few times and i just remember like how long it had to stay in the kiln. There also was the option to go back and paint it yourself. It was an additional $24. Uh, we paid 70 for the class today and we just decided we didn't really want to do that. So we just picked a color and we'll go back and pick up her painted pieces. It's almost five o'clock and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and start dinner. It's a little earlier than I usually eat, but to be honest, I just want to like make it and be done doing productive things. Like I know I'm not gonna wanna cook in an hour, so I'm just gonna do it now.
I'm really excited about my meal. I have homemade mac and cheese, green beans, and salmon cakes. All right, you guys, I don't really plan on doing much else this evening. I need to fold some laundry. I am gonna get ready for the work week ahead and uh, probably just watch some TV and crochet with all my new yarn. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for this very fun, very crafty weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please give it a like for me. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.